Star Wars fans and collectors, Jess here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Kicking off with the new wave. I'm really thrilled about these figures. We're looking at the Incinerator Trooper from The Mandalorian. Um, yeah, really looking forward to opening this guy up. He's looking pretty damn cool. Flame effects, flamethrower. It's using the new mold of Stormtrooper, um, which is really great. He's number three from the Mandalorian. So I'm guessing the armor is number two um, because we've had the uh, the Mandalorian and Beskar armor already. So nice orange theme to the packaging looks good. All right, let's open him up and have a look. All right, here we have the Incinerator Trooper, and man, this is uh, this is quite an impressive looking figure. Um, I took I just took a photo on my phone for the uh, for the thumbnail, and it just looked incredible. Like just the quality of the I don't know, it's just the striking reds on the whites with the blacks. It just looks really really nice. Um, this Stormtrooper does use the new mold of Stormtroopers, which works fine. That's a brilliant Stormtrooper mold. Um, more than happy to see them reuse. Um, that one for the foreseeable future, to be honest. Um, now, one thing this this stormtrooper, this figure in particular, has that a lot of Black Series figures don't have are uh, like a display element. So, for example, this one does come with a flame effect, which is actually really light. Um, I was expecting it to be sort of flat, uh, fat, but it's it's sort of flat on one side. And uh, I'll, I'll show you how that fits on afterwards, but we'll get, a, we'll get a look at the figure itself. Now the incinerator trooper that it did appear in the Mandalorian was quite a little bit dirty. He's covered in some ash and soot and stuff like that. He's a bit, bit dusty, a bit like the rest of the remnant stormtroopers. Um, whereas this one's come quite clean, which I don't know, I'm actually all for it. I think it looks good. Um, there's still like the scuffing on the red throughout the, throughout the entire figure, all the red markings some sort of scuff marks and stuff like that so it works well and I like that the highlights sort of carry on all the, all the way through the figure uh, now the pauldron is actually a new piece I thought that was separate to the to the belt and the backpack but it is actually a new piece uh, that is connected to the back here so we do get this sort of gas tank on the back nice little red imperial signia there which looks good it is removable. I'm not going to, but there are two two straps here that have pegs at the top. That sort of just pegs down and holds that on. There is another peg uh, from this sort of under chest strap that comes down under there and sort of pegs into the back of the backpack there. Um, and then they've actually put a little groove in the back so that the uh, so that that part of the belt actually fits in there and uh, doesn't hinder it. So that's nice. We get the sort of the wires that come around the tubes, come back and eventually join in at the top there. So there is the uh, incinerator weapon, the flamethrower. It's got the two little outlets here, and if you look closely, there is a peg. Um, it does actually fit in really nicely. Pegs in quite tidily. There are some uh, dents in the flame for these little elements here to sort of grasp onto. So it has a little bit there. And yeah, it may start to bow, you know, a lot of the flame, flame effect figures that we've had over the years, particular back in like 2002, 2003. They do cause a little bit of bowing. They do bend and warp and stuff like that. So depending on how you've got this displayed, um, it may happen over a length of time. We're only gonna we're only gonna know with time, so it's hard to say. Um, but I like what they've done here. They've actually given us a hand sculpt, which is a little bit more open than normal, um, and that actually fits quite nice around there. So it's just a little bit extra support. And uh, it's quite an effective look. Mm. 
I think it looks quite quite nice. I'm looking forward to getting some photos with this. It's uh, they've done really well with this. I'm really really impressed with what Hasbro's achieved with this flame effect and the flamethrower because it is it is quite light. I, was, I thought I'd have to lean the figure back uh, to counteract the weight, but you know he's standing reasonably straight. Maybe a little bit of tilt back in the in the figure just to counteract that weight, um, but it works really well. <coughs> But yeah, it's it's nice to see the Imperial rank still rising. Um, in terms of you know we we were introduced to shore troopers and death troopers, and now we're getting the incinerator troopers, which have been around before. These were part of the uh, Force Unleashed game. They had green eyes. They've had some figures in this same sort of paint deco with this, particularly with the helmet, the red stripe coming down over the mouth. Um, so it's not a new idea. Um, but it's cool that they've brought it in, canonized it, and uh, it's part of the part of the law now. Uh, now, last week, um, as of when I'm recording this, uh, they did release a shot of a new stormtrooper, which is basically the same markings as this, but in like a yellowy orange, um, and they've called him the mortar trooper. So there's no doubt we're going to get him at some point, maybe this time next year, uh, maybe even sooner, depending on when he. Uh, appears in the second season of The Mandalorian. Oh, we're about two or three weeks away from that airing, so... But yeah, to see this guy come in on that last episode was just so cool. I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to weather this guy up, make him look a little bit sootier and dirtier uh, as part of the Imperial Remnant. So yeah, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Drop drop some thoughts in the uh, comment section and I'll respond in due course. Please hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. I've got some more action figure reviews coming right up. Until then, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.